Today we're making a nice little cauliflower bake. Welcome back to the Pop Keto Kitchen where we aim to help you live a sustainable keto and low carb lifestyle. Today we're taking a non-keto dish and keto-fying it a little and it's gonna be a really nice cauliflower bake. Now actually this is based on a finished dish which is usually made with macaroni and we are replacing the macaroni with cauliflower. Now the carbs in macaroni are actually quite high so a cup of macaroni it's about 43 odd grams of carbs. A cup of cauliflower is only about five grams of carbs. So there's a massive difference there. And when you're using a few cups, it adds up. I want to say a big thank you to all the subscribers on the account. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you. And if you'd like to subscribe, you're more than welcome to join the tribe. Just click that subscribe button anytime you feel like it. And also feel free to give the video a thumbs up anytime as well. All right, now like I was saying, this is actually based on a Finnish dish. We had the opportunity to go and visit Finland in the pre-COVID era. And this is a sort of a family dish that we've got there. And if I was to try and pronounce it, I would say it's macaroni latico. Hope I haven't insulted anyone with that pronunciation. All right, so we're gonna get into it. Now, as I've said, we are going to be replacing what would have been macaroni with cauliflower. One quick thing, as I'm going through today's recipe, I'm cooking this dish at home and actually we're making a double batch today. So I'm gonna tell you what the proper ingredients are for a single batch. I hope that's not too confusing, but bear with me. Now, like I said, this dish is normally based on macaroni, but we are replacing it with cauliflower. So normally you would take half a cauliflower and break it up into little flowerettes to try and mimic the size of macaroni. Now, later when we cook this in the dish, it's actually going to release liquid and we wanna try and minimize some of that. So what I'm gonna do, I've got the oven at 180 degrees and I'm just gonna pop it in there now. All right, with that in there, we can start working on the rest of the dish. Now, other than the macaroni, there's a couple other ingredients that we're doing a keto-worthy swap for, but we'll talk about them as we get into it. All right, so I've got this pan heating up now. Now to this pan, I'm just gonna add a splash of olive oil, and we're adding one whole chopped onion. Now, normally the word we're looking at when we're sweating off some onion is translucent and we don't want it to brown too much. Today, we don't mind if it browns just a little bit, it's just gonna to add to the flavor. Okay, great. Next, we're going to add some garlic. So we're gonna crush into here one good-sized clove of garlic. I forgot to mention at the beginning, the direct English translation of this finished dish is macaroni box. And uh, the recipe that I'm basing it off is my mother-in-law's recipe, uh, which we've just gone and ketified. Next for a single batch, we would add 500 grams of minced meat. And we'll break that up and stir it through. Now this being a keto friendly dish, the mince that you wanna get is probably one of the higher fat versions. Today I've got 15%. Beautiful, that's all browned off. That's taken about five or so minutes. All right, so next ingredient is a can of tin tomatoes. Now, tin tomatoes. Any tomato sauce type product is often gonna have added, <laughs> added sugar as one of the ingredients. Now, it could be as sugar, it could be as uh, maltodextrin, dextrose, that sort of thing. So have a look at the ingredients on your tomatoes. Now, this is still gonna be adding carbs to this dish, but when you compare chopped tomatoes to fresh tomatoes to tomato paste, there's not a lot of difference between them. So, can of tomatoes it is. And of course, we stir that in. Next ingredient is another keto tricky ingredient. Normally, we would add beef stock cubes. Now, beef stock cubes, again, hard to find without some kind of sugar or dextrose in it that we don't want. So we're gonna use some beef stock that we've made ourselves. Now we made a video about making chicken stock and the main difference between chicken stock and beef stock is that instead of chicken bits, you're using beef bits. And we choose to freeze our stock in one cup portion so that when it comes to a recipe like this, it's easy to get it, get it out and just throw it in. So just again, I'm making a double batch today, so I've got two cups in there. So the next few ingredients are actually there to help us replace the flavorings from another not so keto friendly ingredient. So to replace Worcestershire sauce, we're going to add one half tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm using a gluten free one here, mainly to avoid some of the other wheat related carb ingredients in soy. 
I'm also adding a half tablespoon of sugar-free fish sauce. Now fish sauce can be a little bit harder to find a sugar-free version of, but do look out for it because they are out there. And the last ingredient we are going to use here is apple cider vinegar. And this time we're doing a whole tablespoon. All right, so remember at the start of this how we put the cauliflower in the oven to try and reduce some of the liquid in there? Well, we're gonna let this reduce for a bit, simmer for a while just to let that boil off and to get it a bit thicker. Okay, so we've reduced that down now. We're just gonna add some salt and pepper. So about a half teaspoon of salt and about a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Awesome. Okay, next bit is a cheesy, saucy bit. For a single batch, it's 250 mils of ricotta cheese, two eggs. We'll stir that through with a fork so that it's nice and smooth. Now also for our single portion, we have one cup of grated cheddar cheese in total, and we're gonna put a third of that in here and stir that through again. Next, I'm gonna grease a casserole pan. And my favorite way to do that is just to get a stick of butter and always use it like a crayon in the pan. And that's done. I'm gonna get our cauliflower out. Now this ended up being in the oven for about half an hour. And we're going to add that into this sauce in the pan. And we just stir that all through. And you want to put the florets in the position where there's heaps of sauce on them so that it all sticks in the florets. And then we're just going to load this into the pan. And now we take the cheese sauce and we're going to swirl that all the way through the meat and cauliflower. Like I said, swirling that through, goes all the way through it. I'm just gonna flatten the top of it. And then we top it with the remainder of the tasty cheese. Now this just needs to go into the oven until the egg has set and the cheese has melted and start to go all nice and brown on the top. So that's in the oven at 190 degrees, gas mark five. All right, so that's been about 30, 35 minutes. Let's get it out of the oven. Got a nice little wobble to it. It's exactly what we want to see. So that's an indicator that the egg is all set. We've got the nice brown from the cheese on the top. Let's tuck in. All right. First bit out is never any good, is it? It always looks so messy. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. You've got the nice set cheese bits. You've got the lovely cauliflower in there. Woohoo, let's have a taste. Mmm, I am happy with that. So when you get a piece of cauliflower, you can see there, it's got like all the flavor that's just sort of soaked on through it. I might put a little bit more salt on it. And another great way to eat this is if you have a little bit of a low carb hot sauce, just a little bit, really nice. Yes. Very happy with that. Thank you so much for watching. I am looking forward to polishing off this bowl. And yeah, there you have it. Finnish macaroni box with cauliflower. A cauliflower bake, or in Finnish, macaroni latico. It's a bit of fun. I was, I was messaging the father-in-law who's Finnish uh, to ask him what he'd call this. Um, and he said, you can just put the word keto in front of it. So it'd be keto macaroni latico. And I explained to him what I was doing and that I was replacing the macaroni with cauliflower. And he then suggested the name,
I'd just like to just apologize to anyone who knows anything about the Finnish language because I'm sure I've just done that terribly. But thanks so much everyone for watching. We really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you know someone who might find it interesting, please feel free to share it on Facebook and Twitter. And if you have a go, don't forget to tag us on Instagram. Other than that, guys, thanks so much and we'll see you next week.